Hello everyone, I'm Rick Kessler from RV Business Magazine and welcome to our announcement of the 2023 RV of the Year. Before we reveal this year's winner, let's look at the nine finalists. Brinkley RV Model Z. Touted as a mid-profile luxury fifth wheel, the Model Z from Brinkley RV features a ton of innovations, rock solid quality, and a residential fit and finish that is simply astounding. East to West Delaterra LE 175BH. Part of the all-new, entry-level, conventional-built Delaterra LE line for East to West RV, the 175BH is a single-axle travel trailer with bunk beds in the rear and a Murphy bed up front. Ember RV Touring Edition Highlighted by the 20FB, there's a lot to like about Ember RV's all-new Touring Edition travel trailer line, which offers composite materials and torsion axles, among its many features. Fleetwood Frontier GTX 37RT. The brand new Frontier GTX 37RT from Fleetwood RV is a luxury Class A diesel motorhome that features the corner office strategically located at the rear of the 37-foot motorhome. Intec RV OVR. Featuring a fully welded cage and frame construction, the OVR line of adventure travel trailers from Intec RV is a perfectly capable and comfortable way to get away from it all. Jekyll's single axle Volare travel trailer features a Euro inspired tilt forward front design, which not only makes the trailer seem longer, it adds a ton more usable space to the interior. Newmar Dutch Star 4325. The redesigned 2023 Dutch Star from Newmar offers all new upgrades to the best selling Class A diesel motorhome on the market. Palomino Paws. The Palomino Paws has been designed from the ground up to be a true overland rig with a laundry list of features sure to appeal to anyone with extreme wanderlust and the Tiffin Allegro Bus 45 FP. The all new Allegro Bus 45 FP from Tiffin Motorhomes is a 45 foot tag axle motorhome and all systems are electric or powered through the coach's diesel fuel supply. Welcome back, and now it's time to reveal this year's winner. The 2023 RV of the Year is the Winnebago Hike 100 FLX. The trailer behind me is our Hike 100 with the FLX package. This one behind me has a full exterior wrap on it. Um, the exterior wrap has very vibrant colors, cool look to it. It's really geared towards our um, the Overland type of end user, which we've um, really been aggressively pursuing, kind of in collaboration with our Winnebago Motorhome Revel brand uh, for the active outdoor uh, consumer. As we get to talking about this, we'll talk about suspension enhancements and a handful of other upgrades that we've done to this travel trailer to make it more geared towards that adventure outdoor lifestyle. So the Hike 100 FLX line comes in five floor plans. You've got a twin bunk floor plan. You have a active outdoor lifestyle gear hauling floor plans that has large cargo loading doors in the back. You have a fixed bed floor plan with outside kitchen. You have a Murphy bed floor plan with outside storage. And then you have a U dinette floor plan that also features an outside kitchen as well. People were saying, you've got this adventure trailer. We want to go off grid and be unplugged to enjoy our active outdoor lifestyle. So it made perfect sense for us to introduce the flex package into this. So that way with all the upgraded amenities, they can enjoy and be unplugged for an extended period of time. So the FLX for us is an efficiency package that we've combined with our solar. So we've enhanced solar. We add lithium batteries to it, a uh, 2000 watt inverter but it's really about the systems enhancement as well. Um, the system enhancement allows for the batteries to be more efficient because there's less pull. We're putting in the Aventa AC, the AquaGo water heater, the Vario heat furnace. Uh, those systems pull less amps so that a consumer can actually be off the grid for longer periods of time. 
The other benefit to them is that they're just better appliances than our standard in the industry. Again, the event are running quieter, so consumers that may not truly want that off-grid use just want to have a higher performance into their systems, and that's what uh, the Flex also offers for the consumer. So the idea is we've standardized a lot of like your wet bath is um, standard on all five floor plans. Your kitchen kind of galley area on the inside is standardized on all five floor plans. We just wanted to hit on what are your needs? Are your needs indoor, outdoor, flexible living space as far as outside kitchens? Is your need for more of a gear hauling? Uh, you know, indoor, outdoor with flexible uh, sleeping arrangements. So we have five floor plans to meet the needs for all consumers, whether it's outside kitchens, flexible indoor, outdoor living space, or active outdoor lifestyle gear hauling space. We took this to two um, Overland Expos in the last six months, one in Colorado and most recently one in Virginia. Both events were tremendous. There's two different types. There's the extreme that's looking for off the grid for long periods of time, very rugged, robust. But then there's that intermediate, hey, I just wanna get off the grid, I wanna enjoy some hiking and camping, uh, but be remote. And that's where this kind of fills in. And we're one of the first major manufacturers to kind of get into that space and start to offer some of the features that those consumers are looking for in a, in a, in a more robust travel trailer. We have uh, partnered with a couple of our good supplier partners in, in Norco, who provides our frame, and as, uh, also Dexter, who um, does all of our axles for us. And we have collaborated with them on the premium suspension package. So with this being a smaller, you know, 16 foot overall length, narrow body trailer, dry weights around 3,000 pounds, we knew consumers were gonna wanna go off the beaten path or off grid. Uh, and so we partnered with them to debut the premium suspension package for 23. And what that is, is it's a combination of Dexter's torsion stub axles, and then Norco helps provide a um, higher ground clearance bridge to really truly make it independent suspension. So we have 16 inch six lug Goodyear off-road tires, but then you get all the benefits of a torsion axle going down the road at highway speeds. So you don't get the jossing around of a spring axle, you get all the nice rubber torsion axle benefits, but then you can turn off the road and head right off grid and you get all the benefits with higher ground clearance and independent suspension on the premium suspension upgrade. You're definitely gonna get some people that are interested in this trailer just from the look. When you take a look at the outside, we've ran um, our rack system, we've, we've ran our exoskeleton all the way through the front and back. The exoskeleton does two things. It gives it that, that really cool look that you're referring to, uh, but it also incorporates Thule and Yakima accessories. So all those are plug and play with the size of the exoskeleton and the rail kit that we put around it. Um, but we've made this thing look really cool for off-road. The 16 inch Goodyear uh, Wrangler tires with the heavy, heavy off-road knobs and all the other accessories that we've put around it to, to give it that more robust look. Some of your red thread items that are true on all of Winnebago Tobles products bleed into the Hike 100 FLX. So we've got, you know, quick connect spray ports right near the entry door so that way you can hose off. You still have an actual outdoor shower on the off camp side. You'll have power stabilization jacks. You'll have enclosed heated underbellies with 12 volt tank pad heaters. You'll have a two inch accessory receiver hitch. Wi-Fi prep, and so all those things that you need to live, work, and play are, are all gonna be in the Hike 100 Flex. The Hike 100 is definitely made to be kind of a crossover trailer. It has that versatility to be off-road and can handle the more rugged terrain, but obviously the cool factor is there. So if you just wanna go to your local campground and set up, um, all the standard features are there to be able to enjoy that experience as well. You're just doing it in a, in a really cool looking trailer. Congratulations to Winnebago, well-deserved recognition, and thank you to our sponsors, GE Appliances, Cummins, and Thetford. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll look forward to seeing everybody next year.